How much money could someone make? I don't know. You could you can you can make five six grand a month profit if you're going like hard, like you're really churning. Like the thing is, it's actually ridiculously easy. We like to help people pay the mortgages off. We're literally changing people's lives, and I re I read them, and it's literally like it's mad to be fair. It's the best part about it. It changed my life. I'm so grateful. Challenge me. Subscribe. Do everything you need to do, yeah? What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the CEO cast. Now, today I'm bringing you a special, special episode because it's one that you can actually get involved in at home and start your dream side hustle. Now, I'm with the boys from Crep Chief Notify, and today we're going to bring you a banging episode of how they started it and how you lot can get involved as well. So, round table, I guess we'll just start off with your names. Yeah, so I'm Will. Tom. Milo. Brad. Sweet, and how old are you guys? Yeah, so I'm 22. I'm 22 as well. 20. 22. 20. So you're all very young. Yeah, yeah relatively young. People who don't know, even though your marketing's on point and you know, it's been out there on a lot of YouTubers pages, Instagram pages, so I'd be surprised if no one actually knows. But for the people who don't know what CCN is, what is it? CCN is a online platform dedicated to help people purchase limited items that you just can't find anywhere in retail stores. So for example, we've got the PS5s behind us, you're not able to walk into a store right now and mm. purchase a PS5 without the help of someone who knows where to go for that. Yeah. Um, so what we did, we created the platform to be able to inform people of where they can buy things um, and then initially sell them on for a profit. With the PS5s, it kind of came along as like people wanted them for themselves and for the profit as well. Mm. Um, but essentially, it's just a platform which helps people buy things and then we teach them how to sell it for a profit on uh, online aftermarkets. Yeah, fair enough. And how, well, how did you come up with the idea of that? Because um, that's quite uncommon so, for someone to think of that. So the concept's been around since 2014, One Stop Cop. We can yeah, see that's that. that, yeah. One it's Stop been around Cop. before that, but it's... Yeah. What's that, what's One Stop Cop? It's, so it's essentially the same thing. It's a, um, it was based on Slack, though. Yeah. Um, it's still like a resale kind of platform. And then for a long time, um, we was in and out of the groups ourselves. And then Will started um, a group called Let's Cook. And then um, it was capped at 50 members. It was very exclusive. And it was just people in there. It was a great community. Mm. Um, just vibing out, buying stuff, selling it for profit. It was great. And then I started another one after Let's Cook turned into the sneaker monitor. Um, similar, similar kind of vibe, just a rebrand. And then a little bit more members in there. Yeah. And then we ended up buying Crep Chief uh, which is a personal shopping page originally off our now business partner, TG. Mm. Um, they put it up for sale at a very minor price. Um, thankfully, it was around £1,500 we paid yeah. um, for the page, which is unbelievable. Um, we initially had the idea that we was going to be personal shoppers because at the time we were supplying personal shoppers with pretty much a lot of their stock, like Yeezys, um, Nike Reacts. Before those, the original Nike Reacts 87s, like every personal shopper at the time was getting them from us in the country. Pretty much every single personal shopper, because it wasn't released until after Christmas, mm. but we could get them in December and they were selling them for like £250. So we thought we'd be the best personal shoppers in the world. And we wasn't, we was too lazy. We wasn't interested in like going to the shop and we was new to business as well at the time. Yeah. How old um, were you at that point then? Um, uh, we're like 18, 18? Yeah, 18. 18. Okay, so you're talking about four or five years ago then? Mm. Yeah. yeah, and then oh, bad man. We, um, <laughs> <laughs> we came up with the idea to do what we know, which is these kind of groups to teach people how to resell. So the page had around 10K followers at the time and was like, screw it, we'll just launch a group and get mm. these brand new people into, this, into the culture, which is not something that is done across the industry. So every other group that you see pretty much in the industry is all closed because they prefer clout yeah. on Twitter. Like that's what they prefer, like the little niche communities and stuff like that. We decided we wanted a proper business out of it and we wanted to make a sustainable income for ourselves. Yeah. So we decided to go completely against it, be very disruptive and launch an open group and just target lots of people. Initially we had around, was it 150 people? Yeah, I think we launched, yeah. that. I think we we launched like the first day eight, uh, aiming for 100 people and I think we was aiming for a little bit better but I don't think we did quite well on the day. Yeah. Um, we got about 80, mm. um, capped it and then we launched like every month or so. Yeah, so we, we used to release slots every month and then um, we started it July 14th, 2000 and, 
19. Yeah. The Crep Chief Notify started officially then. And then we really was batting around with it for a few months, probably had less than 100 members at the time. And then um, the idea just came to us to go back to TGE because he was buying off us like, at the time, like buying products and stuff just yeah. for himself. Um, we went back to him and was like, would you do was like Instagram promotion or YouTube promotion and stuff like that. And then he came back to us, it was like four grand. We was like, oh my God. Like, Cause we was like young, no money at the time. Like just buying and selling little bits yeah, so here Four grand there. was obviously a lot. Four grand was yeah. a lot. What was that for like time. one post or something? For one integration, four grand. Yeah. Um, and then we left it for a little bit cause we just couldn't afford it. And then eventually I came back to him again and was just like, would you actually do it? And he was like, yeah, but what about this? And then he came on and was like, what about I jump in with you? And then mm. we'll just smash it. So we agreed, we went down, was talking to him, we was uh, going over the business, um, exactly how it works and all that kind of stuff. And he just, he just fell in love. Yeah. He just fell in love with the idea of it. He thought it was brilliant. He hasn't seen anything like that before. He wanted to be a part of it. And he's shown that in what he's done for us as well. Um, he changed our lives, no two ways about it. He gave us the opportunity. Um, but we relaunched it December 22nd, 2019 as an, a, an official platform with promotion and stuff like that. And then we're here now. Let me, let me just break something down there quickly because you said obviously TG basically invested in it, but before that you said um, he had the page Crep Chief. Yes. So he started something himself or Yeah, or so him and his friend, um, Aaron, yeah. I believe. They um, had an emoji fresh together as well, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They started the page before Christmas that year yeah. and then they had a guy running it who, I can't remember his name now, but we actually used to know him, didn't we? Uh, Joe something. Joe Coggins. Joe Coggins. <laughs> shout out to Joe Coggins. <laughs> Not up. shout out Joe <laughs> Coggins because he <laughs> fucked up that business. <laughs> Joe, Joe, shout out Joe Coggins for fucking up the business. But um, he wasn't doing what they required and they got bored of it. Yeah. They wasn't interested. Like It was too frustrating for them. What so, was it originally for them? Was personal it just shopping? It was just personal shopping. Literally yeah. just got Yeezys, dropped them off in London. It yeah. was like a same day drop off kind of service. Yeah, yeah. Get whatever you so want. That's why it's called Crep Chief, basically. Yeah, it was yeah. called Crep Chief. And well, it was Crep Chief London originally. Yeah, oh, okay. LDN. Crep Chief yeah. LDN. Um, and then it just went from there. Yeah. So then, did you guys ever think about rebranding the name? Because obviously it's not just trainers anymore. It's, you know, it's. Yeah, we thought about this. What, I mean, what have we got time. there on the table? You tell me, because half the stuff I don't even know. Yeah. That's like, literally, we don't only do shoes now. Yeah. So that is a bit of a marketing issue. Yeah, because people might be under the assumption once they see it on, for example, DMO's videos or something, Crep Chief mm -hmm. Notify. Okay, I'm not really interested in selling yeah. just trainers. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So then, what's your Mo thought train behind that? Most people actually aren't interested in reselling trainers, I think, anymore. I think most people are actually interested in trainers because they want to yeah. wear them. You see the drip pages on Instagram yeah. nowadays, like Drip UK or whatever, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Drip Select or some shit. Mm. Um, like you just see lo everyone wearing Jordan 1s and stuff nowadays. So yeah. I think most people are actually buying into that culture of actually wanting to wear them more than resell yeah. them. Obviously the resale market in trainers and sneakers is still considerably growing. I believe it's supposed to hit 5 billion by 2025. Oh, it's currently yeah. like two, three billion now. It's yeah. like a market cap, but um, yeah, it's crazy. So people have been buying them for themselves and then we've kind of diversified further down the line when so it was when the first lockdown hit really. Um, we, sneakers was still a thing, but we needed more because we was getting more members. And then, um, what was the first thing we started doing? Like, hot tubs. Yeah, hot tubs was the best slip last year. Um, well, I'm guessing that's put probably towards the beginning of lockdown then. Yeah, yeah it was. Like it was summer started, started and then everyone wanted End of hot April. tubs in the garden. Yeah. But you was buying them for like, what, 350, 400 quid, selling for like eight, 900 pound. Oh, seriously? Some mm -hmm. of them was like 800 pound profit, it was mad. Yeah, crazy profits. And these were restocking really like... like Man, that's lazy spa. Yeah. And this, at this time then, how many people did you have working for you? Was it just you guys still at that point? Uh, there was us and 10, like... Probably was it even 10 at the time. I reckon we probably had a couple, like five, yeah. absolute max part-time admin just helping out. Um, it's like I said before, it's mostly done like on a favor basis. Mm. Um, like we'll give you a little bit of money if you won't mind just like helping out a couple of members here and there. Yeah. Um, and then post like, not post lockdown, um, post like April, things just got crazy. <clears throat> so we was taking on people left, right and center just to like fulfill the demand from members um, that was like needing support mm. and stuff like that. So yeah, we probably ended up with about 10 to 15 by the middle of the summer, um, members of staff, which was pretty cool. I should guess I should throw it back and ask a question I should have asked in the beginning is, how do you guys all know each other? So it started, so Milo used to live next door to me. Yeah. So it was like, I uh, approached Milo probably like four years ago now. Mm, and started so, Let's Cook. 
So we're yeah. talking like back in like uh, six form days or something. Oh, I was yeah, 16. College. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. was 16, yeah. Yeah, I just started college, my first year of college and stuff like that. So we made um, a program to monitor this uh, bot, which was to buy like shoes for you. So if you know what a bot is, basically I can auto check out yeah, yeah, the yeah. shoes or whatever. So we made like a program to monitor the bot because the bot actually resold. Mm. So you could buy the bot for £100, it sold for £200. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, so, so we, that was like the first thing yeah, we made. Yeah. yeah, so Miles a developer. Yeah. Oh, so what do you basically develop the bot? Um, not anymore. I did in the past, but like other people, we have a lot of developers now. We develop everything, but at the start, yeah, I developed everything. So, what's all your backgrounds in? Because obviously, developer here. We all resold, and before that, we were like yeah. reselling to make money. Did you all go like school, uni, college sort of thing? Yeah. yeah so, yeah. so Milo lived next door to me, and yeah. then I went to college. I didn't know you two, yeah. and um, I was we was in like classes together and stuff. We got talking. And we was on like the same like business like wavelength. Mm. So we all decided like, oh, let's go and start this like company together. Yeah. Which when we bought Crep Chief. Yeah. And then... That was after we left college, I think Crep Chief was in the first year of uni. Yeah, it was. Was it? Was, yeah, Because yeah, yeah, uh -huh. we, yeah, we did 500 pound between the three of us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 500 pound each. each. And that was it. <laughs> and we went from there. That's how it yeah. Yeah. Tom That's and Will was in class together. And then me and Tom was in... Business together. Uh, business. Level two business at college. Yeah. Failing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, um, we were in English. English <laughs> we were in failed English as well. I you know, if you fail your GCSEs, keep going. You, you know, still I still haven't got a uh, GCSE English. I still got like GCSE science, mate. Never really sat at it. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Yeah. I've yeah. really Actually, I got, I've still got a D in English. I still well, got that. Well, like my sixth one, they let me in. I didn't get a C. Neither did I. I think I got a D in English. Just stopped me from getting onto level three business and then got into level two and met Tom. And you two was in photography together? Yeah, yeah photography together. Yeah. Literally, the first, like, one of the first ones was used going for like a Supreme drop at like 11. So class finished at like, like 10 to 11 or something. Yeah. I think and so. we, we had to run to the pub next door to get Wi Fi. Yeah, because the Wi Fi in the library was so bad. Yeah. You couldn't even so we had to run to the pub to get Wi Fi. And I, I bought some like Condegas on Air Force Ones. Uh, yeah, yeah. And that was the first thing that I ever bought to resell. I think I made like I listed them, and then I sold them by my, on my lunch break for like literally like eighty pound, fifty pound profit, or something like that. Mm. I was like, wow, like this is mad. Why isn't everybody doing this? Like I've just bought this online, I sold it, made fifty pound, and I'm in in class. Yeah. Like it's mad. Yeah, do anything basically, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. And then, so, go on. Um, obviously, we, me and Tom met Milo um, through just hanging out with Will, like post college. Mm. And, yeah after hours and then obviously Max here is off camera. We met Max who was a member of CCN. So he joined in March, uh, March? March? March last year, 2020. just before lockdown. Yeah. And he's a genius. <coughs> so he just kind of worked his way all the way up to the top of the group. He was helping members out left, right and center. And then he just was make, causing so much noise. Everyone was raving about it. So just had to bring him onto the team within two months. You'd only just started reselling yeah. and then had to bring him onto the team because he was that good. I was, so I lived in London, I was at uni, and I had like no money. Oh, so you're originally from London then? No, I'm, well, I'm not from London, but I go to university in London. Oh, okay. And what, uni? Kings. Um, <laughs> so I, I had no money, and London's expensive. So I joined, and I was like, I'll give it a go. And then I remember sitting in my college um, dorm, and I was like, I'm just going to learn it all. And then what, in like two two months? So that was when you DM me, and I was like, like you know, come on to the team. And well, I, just, I was like, admin role, I was just answering every, every question. And then lockdown hit, so it was like a good time. And I was just at home every day, just doing the same thing, so nothing else to do. Yeah. Um, and we're here now, so. So let me ask you guys, what makes someone a genius on the Crep Chief Notify platform? You just got to bring on board It's to just the top level completely with. understanding the concept, really, of like, so like people, people might miss on a restock and then think the world's ended, like this is not like worth it, but these things happen just yeah. as much as actually buying as mm. well. Like you, you're not going to get every single like restock it's just not possible yeah like you really can't but for someone who can navigate the way to be able to maximize their opportunities to buy and then understanding the concepts of why things work in that industry and being able to help others um that's what i would say is someone who's pretty clued up into the reselling just helping others and being able to profit themselves and just offering a like a great vibe in the community as well just mm. keeping everything together causing causing chaos, he was literally re replying, as if he was working for the company, yeah. he was literally just replying to every single member's question. Yeah. His dedication. 
I remember going in chats and I'd like we have like a like a support channel. It's like a live chat on the website. Yeah. And I'd be going into chats and I'd be like, go on, like, open a support and I'll reply to it faster than you can type. <laughs> that was, that was, that's how I was spending my days. I was, you know, but it was good fun back then. Yeah, it was good fun. I was like, 18 months ago now. Yeah, 18, 18 months ago. Oh, around about. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's when lockdown started. When would you say like the big boom was? Was it lockdown or was it before that? Lockdown. 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 First lockdown. Uh, I would, I would say, I would say it was a little earlier than lockdown. It started really picking up towards the middle of February. Um, we was probably like pushing through twenty members a day at the time yeah. during February, compared to like January, I was doing two or three. And we started picking up some notice, and then lockdown hit. Oh, lockdown was announced that it was going to hit, and then things just went like plummeting. Everything yeah. went down. We was losing members like nobody's business way quicker than what we was gaining them. Like ridiculous. Yeah. Purely because people didn't know what the deal was with lockdown. No idea. Yeah. And then it was stale for about three weeks. We wasn't getting any signups. And then April 13th, out of nowhere, literally out of nowhere, just rocketed. And we was getting no, we was getting barely any cancels from the group. And then people was just joining like, no, we was doing hundreds of people a day. Why do you think that was? We were doing Facebook ads. Facebook oh, ads. So we were literally yeah, just showing people yeah, what marketing. they can do. Yeah. It was just great marketing at the time. And it just literally showed everyone that this platform is a, something that anybody can do. Do you remember how much you pumped into your Facebook ads back then? <laughs> it was too much. It was we, were, we was being a little ripped off at the time. But. Yeah, we was. But <laughs> even was to say we was getting... Compared to that four grand that, you know, Tom initially off, like, off, asked you a lot for. It was probably basically. less, it was probably about £100 a day, maybe. Yeah. Oh, okay. We were spending about £100 a day and the return was yeah. a decent amount. I'm actually glad that I'm doing this bad. podcast, you know, because the first time I came across you guys was a time ago. Um, then I spoke to Will, I think it was maybe yeah, yeah. November last year, I want to say, something like that. Yeah, it's there. quite a while ago now. Quite a while ago, um, asking me to do a video on Crep Chief Notify. I said, I oh, don't do that sort of content. I was like, yeah, fuck that, let's just do a podcast instead. Mm-hmm. So I'm happy that we're here doing this, but... It's mad the the marketing you lot have done is your the brand is planted everywhere. We do our like every idea that comes from that marketing is from us. We have no marketing background. No. Any single one of us. Mm. We have we no just, one helping either. Literally, we are. That is the only thing that we don't have in the team right now is marketing. Um, so, if there's any marketers who are looking for a job, <laughs> if there's any marketers that would you, at the DM. same time, would you say you need marketers? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Why? Because you can do it ten times better. <laughs> if if we can do this. And we can show that everybody this platform's that good. Yeah. Imagine someone with an actual marketing background can just absolutely rocket this. 100%, but at the same time, I feel like you lot are doing a smashing job already. It's organic, I guess, yeah. Yeah. which is, is kind of good. because It could 100 times be 100 times better, though. It, like, definitely. Like, the amount of time we invest into it is, like, minute. Like, marketing's not, like, we spend, like, most of our time, like, on the group, and the marketing's, like, yeah. very little amount of it. So I feel like for somebody to come in, and if anybody does want to, if anybody's, like, believes in themselves and they believe they could take it to the moon where all is. Um, you have to be from Manchester. Yeah, you have to be from Manchester. <laughs> Only in-house, we're not doing across the country. No, but even the people that market it, for, um, I was even speaking to DMO about it, the people who push the brand, like, obviously, you know, there's a budget that comes with that, but at the same time, they believe in it 100% because I, I was asking him straight, I was like, does it actually work and all that yeah. stuff? They were like, yeah, 100%, that's how I can, you know, it's just another income sort of thing. I don't people want understand. anyone to push it that doesn't believe in it or has yeah. not tried and literally seen the success like um, for, for there's a lot of other businesses out there yeah i'm not going to say what they are but yeah. you probably guess like that they're just getting doing trading courses back. all this stuff and yeah. it's not what you see on the outside <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that well they're basically just running affiliates for companies yeah yeah it's, exactly it's an affiliate what, marketing scheme what they're doing is they're getting you to invest not you, so it looks like you're not paying them you're paying it towards the yeah, yeah. broker oh, yes, yeah. and then when you put your money in and they've made a call and you've lost your money and then they say oh don't worry about it next one next one that money that you've just lost they're taking a percentage of that money it's exactly how the you know the so-called forex trading was back yeah, in that's the exactly yeah. how these run so you have stuff. to deposit a minimum 300 pound yep that's it and yeah. then you have to spend that 300 pound for them to get i think some of them were even doing 50 yeah. percent affiliate yeah they get £150 yeah, yeah. for every £300 you deposit on a new customer. So once that new customer's gone, they don't care about you. Get another person, deposit £300, tell you anything, any, Keep up your any money that, yeah. trade to place. Yeah. They don't care if you lose or you're up. Yeah. They get their money either, either way. way so that's, yeah. that's the game though. At first, they'll give you a few bites. They'll, you'll turn your 300 into 500, mm. 500 into 700. And then 
you're getting confident, you're getting confident, you believe in that it's work, working, and then they'll make a call, and then this call is wrong, and you've now put 700 quid into it, yeah. and you've lost, and now they're taking a percentage of that loss. Yeah. But they're building up your stake, yeah. and then taking the money out of it in the end, yeah. basically. That's what some, somewhat I, I'm told as well. It's, it's, it's not right, is it? Let's be serious, it's not right. Obviously there is people out there that do Forex trading real, Oh, 100%. But, do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I get what you're saying. So I couldn't help but notice that you guys have a Crep Chief 95 USA page as well. Yeah. So I'm guessing mm -hmm. you've got plans to, you know, USA. Yeah. yeah. Well, expand out there. Literally, start of lockdown, we, we was getting it developed, everything ready, and we accidentally launched USA um, when the PS5. We didn't it was launch the it, it was yeah. launched for us. Yeah. So where we got, we literally got Forbes, New York Times, everyone was doing articles on us because we got hundreds and thousands of well thousands of playstations yeah not us we talked with the group yeah got thousands of places i know you see all these as behind us now but the group got thousands of playstations yeah. yeah oh by the way i'm just gonna say stay tuned towards the end because you're not gonna want to miss this part <laughs> <laughs> but yeah sorry go on, carry yeah um, just reminded me for that, <laughs> <laughs> and they was doing articles on us saying we got like three and a half thousand ps5s but obviously it wasn't us it was the group and they were all us articles so it launched the usa website literally just direct traffic to it. We've never seen traffic like that. We woke up one morning, it was just like, wow. Like, this has just happened overnight. Yeah. Hundreds of emails, want to do articles with you, interviews, everything, phone interviews, doing we're phone doing interviews, like literally phone every interviews. night for Routers, like two weeks straight. New York Times, uh, Washington Post. Forbes. Forbes, Sky News have done an article. BBC. And this is just as you launched in USA? No, so we didn't launch it. Yeah. We had the, everything was built. Yeah. Everything was built. We had the group done, we had the website done, but we hadn't put any marketing in place for it. Mm. We was just waiting, um, yeah. just a little bit closer to Christmas. Um, just that's what we had in our mind. Yeah. And then because the articles went out and it was all US based articles at the time. Yeah. It, it just kind of, because obviously we had it on, so, it re, so if you went onto the UK website, it just redirected you back to the US one anyway. Okay. So people was just signing up like all day on the USA one. And mm. we probably ended up getting about 500, yeah. um, 500 people within two, two weeks, yeah. maybe. No, it, was, it was like, we had like a little wave of like a few signed up and then it waited like what, a few days when the articles really kicked off. And then like, it was just nonstop. And yeah. We were waking up in the morning because we thought it was going to be really, really slow. But we were waking up in the morning like, Five. Wow. There's literally tens and tens of people coming in every hour. Mm. Um, so majority of the articles was just copying the article that we did with Business Insider. They just copy and pasted it, yeah, posted it as the wrong or something. Yeah. Yeah. And then just give credit to Business Insider or whatever. But because like Business Insider did it, everyone did just it. started jumping on it. Like you go on, you can search it now. If you search Crypto, if not find go on the news channel on Google, yeah. you'll see all over the world articles about us. Like we can't even read some of them because they're in different languages and stuff. It's crazy. There's literally all over the world articles about us. It's Mazza. Yeah. Um, for a little cost of, well, how much is it you charge per month? £30. £29.99. <laughs> <laughs> Got to take the penny off. <laughs> £29.99 a month. You know, if you follow Crep Chief Notify on YouTube... Um, I'm just Crep Chief now. Just Crep Chief now. Just Crep Chief now. You're basically the face of that channel. Um, and there's great content, so I want to recommend that everyone checks it out as well. But being like almost a, a consumer in those videos, mm. realistically, how much money could someone make, you know, essentially as a, a side hustle? It, the thing is, it's actually ridiculously easy. Like, and when I mean like ridiculously easy, the people in CCN who are like doing it properly know that it's ridiculously easy. And um, like, I don't know, you could de you can you can make five, six grand a month profit if you're going like hard, like you're really churning, like, and it's full time. I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't say that's a side yeah. So Five to six grand a month is working on full time. Full -time. reselling yeah. full time. Yeah. 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 But that's like the potential. And like, if you're doing it as like a side hustle, easily one to two grand profit per month as like on the side. Like it only takes 10 consoles and can't remember, I'm like, I think there was over 100 console restocks like last month. So if you get like 10, 20 consoles, you're guaranteed 1,200 pound profit, regardless of all the other things there are to resell, sneakers, calendars, loads of other bits, like random anything that's like- Garden furniture. Yeah, really garden like furniture. GPUs, we made, we made like 4.2 thousand pound profit in like five hours work ourselves, just yeah. off GPUs. Like GPUs- you like you 40 PS5s this morning. <laughs> so yeah, so 40 PS5s this morning. Like, the, some of these GPUs are ridiculous as well. So they're like 360 pounds to buy and they sell for a thousand pound. So like, the profit on that is just stupid. And it takes like an hour or two to like, 
do the whole process, like buy it, wait for it to come, list it, sell it, whatever. Yeah, the whole time, like, literally barely anything. So you're talking like ridiculous amounts. It's, most people who um, use it as a side hustle do it throughout work. Yeah. Um, so they just have like Discord on the work computer or just on the phone or whatever. I would um, as well, especially if I'm an office job. And yeah, I'm, yeah know, literally sat at the computer all yeah. day, so you just log it on, you see a restock come through, click it, you, buy, a, you buy it within two minutes. Yeah. And then it turns up at your house next tomorrow. Yeah. And then you put it on Facebook Marketplace on the same day that you bought it as well. Yeah. And it's sold before it's even arrived at your door and someone's ready to collect it as soon as it's arrived. At that point, it's, it's kind of like drop shipping in that sense. Yeah, yeah. it kind I of suppose, is. Yeah. It, is. Yeah. it is kind of drop shipping, but like, it's almost like the item's almost pre-sold before yeah, yeah, you've yeah, even yeah, like, yeah. there's no, literally no risk with it. Because if that item doesn't sell, the stores that we're buying from, you simply just return it. Like that never ever happens. Like that's the thing. Is, never there's happens. There's no risk at all, isn't no. it? Yeah, especially no with like sneakers, like from Nike. Yeah. You get like a return slip, so you put the return slip back on, and you send it off back to it's Nike. It's 180 free. days on Nike yeah. as well, isn't it? It's the same thing, isn't it? If you've got PS5 from Corries, you can just you know send it back if it doesn't sell. Like oh yeah. Yeah. And you make profit anyway. Yeah. So you literally it's buy it off you at the same day yeah. for six hundred and twenty. And then five hundred twenty. Five hundred and twenty pounds. Sorry. So you can buy. You can if you could get a PlayStation, you could one hundred percent sell it to CEX for seventy pound profit at least. Yeah. And there's no least. fees or anything like yeah, that. Yeah. No fees. Walk in so, store, they give you seventy pounds on yeah. what you paid. That's mad. Yeah. And I can guarantee anyone that if you join today, and you don't get a PlayStation in a month. Mm. you've not actually looked at the platform. If you just look at the platform, you will get a console that pays off your membership and profit within the first month. It's that how, simple. How do you even go about buying 40 PS5s? Because surely the websites wouldn't allow, you know, a quantity of 40. We had 80. You um, had 80? Originally. Yeah. And then we're buying 100 more tomorrow. Did you get these all <laughs> recently or something? Uh, last week, the, we ordered them two weeks ago. They came mm. a week later. Um, I can't necessarily reveal exactly how we got them just because it'll put other people yeah, yeah, in. Yeah, it is free Curry's codes though. Basically, yeah. it's like um, some Miles said he develops bots. Um, made a bot, enter the script, enter your email into a Curry's ballot thing, yeah. and you just get a code. You go into store, say, I've got a code for a PlayStation 5, pay for PlayStation 5, it arrives in a week. Yeah, that's mad. It's that simple. We was giving you do that away 80 well. times, then. We were <laughs> giving away yeah. codes. So, it, like, so, the first 100 people that signed up um, the other week when we had all the codes, uh, they all was guaranteed a PlayStation. Pretty much, Every, there was a hundred people that signed up to CCN and guaranteed themselves a PlayStation. We was doing giveaways of the codes in the group, and obviously we had some for ourselves as well. I mean, I suppose if that's the case, if they sign up for CCN, get a, a PlayStation Five code, do they what? They pay for it still, isn't it? Yeah, so you but still have to pay for the PlayStation, yeah, even if they sold it for how much are we selling for? Well, you, you could walk in CX and make seventy pound profit. Guaranteed. So you sign profit. up to CCN yeah. and you've paid your membership off before you've even got in the group. That's exactly what my point was going to be. Like you've paid it's crazy. you've got a free membership for like <laughs> yeah, four months, months, two months, yeah. two and a half months. Yeah. It's crazy. not the case at the moment though. We're not currently doing the offer at this moment, but um, this goes out on Sunday, doesn't it? Yeah. So if you keep yeah, an eye on the socials, you've then. potentially a couple of days ago you might have missed it, but um, we was given away on the. Well, you could still see it, and then we could put it up as a clip yeah. on Instagram before this goes live. We'll put mm. the calls live Sunday. Yeah. We could, yeah, we could put the calls yeah. live on Sunday if they're yeah. active still. Yeah, we could yeah, do that. You could do that. Yeah, we could put it in the video description or something like that mm. along the lines. Cool. So explain this to me. How does it all work? Because obviously, it, from what it seems like, for someone, I'm not technology person based at all, anything like that. So to me, I'll just see you guys are constantly always on a computer re researching for stock. Now that must be obviously it's probably not like that. But if that was the case, that would be headache. <laughs> yeah. So what is it that without revealing your secrets, how is it that you There's can get team? the links? Oh, go on. So it's like, I don't, do you mean like as in terms of like finding new products or finding like, or just like knowing when a PS5 is back in stock? Yeah. I think you're explaining yeah. both the monitors and yeah, the so, products. Yeah, so like to start it off with, like we have the monitors, which are like software. So these are like, it's like custom coded for each website and each website's like completely different. So like, it's like a custom coded program that literally checks the website every second of mm. every day and just keeps checking and checking and checking. And as soon as it detects the products come back in stock, just sends a notification to every CCM member's phone, laptop, computer, whatever, yeah. and then they just go on and buy it. So that's how that works. And then um, the f like for looking for new products, we have a team of three people who are like dedicated people who are like um, constantly looking for new products, collectibles, everything, like whether it be like, like crypto miners, stuff like that, they're constantly looking for things to like, new products that we can like provide in CCN, mm -hmm. and then we can monitor for restocks as well. So that's like how we go about 
getting them, you start notifications and finding new products. And it's not just, you know, PS5 and stuff as well, because I was watching a um, YouTube video, I, I don't want to get his name wrong, but I believe his name was Henry, maybe. I mean, let me see. Give Heathy. me one second. Is it Heath? Might be. Oh, so Heath. Heath. That's it, yeah. Hustle <laughs> yeah, Heath, yeah. So yeah. He, um, he went to Tesco's or Sainsbury's or something, picked up a fire pit as well. So it's even yeah. simple stuff like that. Yeah. Garden so, cottage yeah. is a massive one through the summer. So it's yeah. like seasonal items, so obviously in the summer, yeah. fire pits, outdoor light like heaters stuff like that was reselling for profit because you just couldn't get it yeah because it's cheap um winter what's it like massively advent calendars it's, with, yeah. um, lockdown last year because people were bored and wanted to just do things up so this people started doing the gardens up yeah so like i think the same thing just kind of happened the following year of people still wanting those things that they planned on getting the year before but they couldn't get their hands on yeah yeah, yeah. so it's just kind of a continuation of like a product cycle of coming back and people wanting it during the summer but a massive one was the garden heaters, weren't it? Like, so if you yeah. go to like an outside like cafe or bar, they'll always have garden heaters. Mm. Um, but you couldn't buy them, which is which seems so stupid. Yeah. The fact that you just can't go to B and Q and buy yourself a garden heater seems stupid. Yeah. But that's that's the game. Supply and demand. Yeah, that's, that's the, case, that's the game. Supply and demand. Yeah. Um, there's not enough supply, and then there's so much demand for it, so the price goes up. It's up here, exactly what the whole platform is based on, mm. isn't it? That's mad. And the thing is as well with Aldi, is that Aldi undercuts every other like yeah. uh, garden centre. So Aldi might have stuff like 150 or whatever else is like 200. So it's already got that margin. Yeah. So you sell it at what everyone else sells it. It's like Bents or whatever with a garden centre and you're going to make that 50 pound profit. We've got um, we've got a furniture set outside in the back garden from Aldi that, yeah. Resell- yeah. that was reselling. Yeah. It was like 150 quid, it's fire. Yeah, it's good. Right. It's, no, it's, it's, it's a no-brainer that it's reselling at 150 quid and they're sold out. A lot of Aldi stuff sells out. I think that's quite common. To pe- yeah, it's cheap, Aldi. isn't it? Yeah, it's just it. cheap stuff. Yeah. So yeah. with a platform like this running, what do you guys do on a daily basis? So we all focus on management decisions together. Mm. Um, that's something Then we all have our specific roles. Um, uh, Tom's a graphic designer, Milo's um, developer and stuff like that. I primarily focus on marketing and then at the moment the clothing, as you can see, Will's wearing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, um, Will does a lot of analysis data and it works massively within the group because Will's stupidly good at that kind of stuff. Like, he's, he's the one that led us all from the start, really. What's that, the marketing? No, in the, uh, the group. So Will was the oh. one that launched uh, Let's Cook and the Sneaker Monitor. Yeah, he he had the ones. initial ideas. Yeah. Like, Will's, Will was always a leader in that kind of stuff. So he, he knows, his, knows his stuff, knows his stuff in that kind of aspect. I suppose um, it all helps. That you all live together as well, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, that's fine. Do you want to say that? Or? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah cool, cool, we're saying we live together, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so what, what's it like, you know, all having a business and you're living together at the same house at the same time? Best thing in the world. Yeah, I love yeah. it. We're the best team in the world. Yeah, because you, you don't, don't have to worry about to. anyone getting late to the office because you live, you live there. here. Knock anyway. on the door, say, get up. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Apart from me, wake up at <laughs> never not <laughs> We still talk about business, literally. There's not a time when we're not talking about business. Mm-hmm. So everyone else is around the house and we're just sat there. Still talking about business. Yeah, yeah. I suppose anything you're involved in it so much. Yeah. It's your own business, it's your baby at, the, at that point. Yeah, literally, gonna... we can't watch anything without spotting a marketing technique or like, wow, let's do that. Like, we watch a YouTube it's video and it's like, at times. why has he done that? Like, let's figure this out. And yeah. we're just sat there, like, it's literally non stop. Yeah. It's frustrating at times because you're consistently analyzing things um, in terms of like marketing. Like, you can't, you can't necessarily just enjoy content for what it is anymore because you're purely looking at how they've managed to benefit like mm-hmm. that thing or thing so many subconscious things that people don't even realize are being said on youtube and yep. like that are actually impacting the way that you think about a product that they might introduce to you in a week or maybe even 30 seconds later on Do you the know video. who the videos remind me of that um mr beast mr beast bro like oh, really mr beast, mr. beast. The, don't watch his youtube vid- uh, ch- videos really apart from like f- to literally look for analyzation yeah, 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 yeah. kind of stuff but mr beast bro don yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. we literally says he's got the formula yeah. to make a viral video 100 percent of the time. Yeah, I know. I've seen that. It's like, crazy. That. <laughs> I studied that guy for YouTube, and like as soon as I did that, everything started going. For, but I know what you're saying. Yeah, it's mad. But when you start producing content, you can't even watch it anymore. You just <laughs> analyze how things work. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. What makes, so I want to do that. Yeah, yeah. I want to learn that. Just watching, um, like we was watching a thing last night. So um, I don't know if people have heard of Nelk, um, but there's a guy in there. Steve will do it. He promotes a company called Rubet. Yeah. And there was um, a guy who's investigating Rubet, and he was advertising a VPN on um, on the system, which is very, very. Like, you have to use a VPN to get on Rubet. So he's basically made this video to promote yeah. the VPN, yeah, knowing yeah, yeah. that this video will obviously get clicks. <laughs> we were all sat there last night and was just like, 
Because are you watching this? It was yeah. like we can't believe this. This guy's he's, he's calling Uber. out. He's calling out a company yeah. that you can't. That's not legal in the US, but you can actually access it through a VPN. Yeah. And then the first line it says, "I don't use this for skirmish fucking uh, gambling by, uh, websites and stuff like that." But the one the clip that I picked up on was it was just scrolling down a random website. It was like models on trampolines or some shit. Supermodels on trampolines or something. <laughs> and at the bottom of the thing, you know, I have Google Ads. At the bottom was um, a VPN. It had no branding on it. Yeah. But it was in the middle of talk about it. It just had VPN. It was there for like one second. And like, it was just so subconscious. But if you caught it, like just in your you vision. You picked up on it, yeah. And then he's consistently talking about it. You just pick up on things like that. You don't even realize. So speaking of content, how do you guys pick who you're going to, you know, collab with on YouTube and stuff like that? It's mostly like who's doing well at the moment and like yeah. who's well if you see them like doing well then you're gonna go and push towards them. Like mm. DMO obviously he's he's big right now, isn't he? We're our own target um, audience at the end of the day, so yeah. engagement's a big thing. Like mm. we look at like how many com people are commenting, liking, like stuff like that. Like we feel like that's a big gauge to how much like people believe in. Whether someone person. fits with the brand as well, really. Yeah. Mm. Uh, whether we think we want this person to promote our brand, whether we don't, mm. um, the risks or whatever and stuff like that as well. Just is a massive analysation to it to be fair. Um, just making sure that it's fit for us and we would be happy with that person yeah. saying our name out in public and promoting it to thousands of people. Yeah, because you want it to have a you know long distance relationship with not long distance what's the word? Long term. Long term, sorry, yeah. Long term relationship with the people that you're working with as well. Mm. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. Well, I think we've been working DMO 12 months now. Yeah. yeah. 12 months, unbelievably great guy. Yeah, yeah. I remember him promoting for time. Like well. Yeah. Like, I don't know, like, they could have like, a huge audience, but like, if that audience isn't going to like believe what they're saying, it's just you said, they're just watching them for like purely entertainment. And like, you don't really want to go with them. But, like, trying to figure out, like, does their audience actually like. Come That's the thing with sponsors, them? yeah, because you, know, you like, see a lot of creators sponsoring some crap that has not, nothing yeah. to do with their channel or anything yeah. like that. Just Absolute for a bit of change, but it has no longevity. Teeth whining and stuff. And that. That, exactly like that. that. Like, do some Instagram promo on that. Like yeah, for sure. But yeah, we've, we've definitely made we've a lot of, a lot of money. money. It's, not, it's not wasted at the end of the day. We just learned our mistakes yeah. and we got us. You know, recently I've seen a lot of people on Instagram promoting um, CCN as well. Um, you've had, I think it was Macau, right? You yeah, that's right. right. Um, obviously, DMO was standard. You, I think you lot all went to Mexico, as we call it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's where we took a trip to Mexico. Yeah, and handing out PS5s to winners or what is it you lot exactly that's, done? So DMO um, got those PlayStations uh, through CCN. So what we do with influencers is we make sure that all of them actually try and engage with the platform. Yeah. Purely because we want people to get it and understand it. Mm. Yeah, I don't want you to tell your audience something you don't mm. believe in or use. Yeah, like, yeah, what's yeah. the point? Mm. They're not going to believe you. Like, a hundred percent of the time, they don't believe you. Teeth yeah. whitening. You see Love Island promoters on Instagram promoting <laughs> the teeth whitening stuff. Yeah. Rubbish. Yeah, no, we weird. want people. We want our influencers to actually use the platform. Um, so DMO got four. I think he got four. Yeah, from Argos. Um, on, in one day, he went and collected them all from Argos, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then he, we went down, he was just, but he texted us, it was on the video, he texted us, he was just like, come down, let's see what's going on. He's going to give one away to a winner yeah. on that 600 brake horsepower course or some, yeah, some yeah. stupid <laughs> Mazza. beat an E63S or something. Yeah. Absolutely Mazza. Stage two E63S. <laughs> stupid. What, DMO's one? No. It was someone else. Stage two E63S. We went down and basically just met him and then he went and did his thing, we were, we had to travel back, so we went. So the thing is, you see with, um, what's, a, what's a mad point as well, yeah, is that by, pe by people using CCN, they can essentially get the, you know, the cars finance paid just from the side hustle. Yeah, yeah. so that is. We we had, even, um, I think even um, Tom put up a video recently of a guy, he bought yeah. a Lamborghini Gallardo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to here. Gallardo and, Perth Spider, yeah. Yeah, that's the one, yeah. yeah. And from CCN, pretty much. Yeah, you know, he pays his, pays his mom's place through CCN. Yeah. Like, a lot of people do the same thing. It's like you have a job and it covers all your like, you like have your day to day job and it covers your normal stuff. And then C C N, you know, you say you take home a grand profit, like you're insuring your car and you're paying the finance. Yeah. Like, not a guy out of but like you put a bit more effort and yeah. So yeah. you love your cars, that's your way to get one. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty like it's not easy, I suppose, to just build up like a cash flow, but if you've got a job and you choose to join CCN. Mm. There is actually no need for you because you've gone your entire time without actually having this potential of money. So there's no actual need to use the money that you've just made from uh, reselling. You might as well keep it for a little bit, keep reinvesting. And then you build up a cash flow and then you get yourself 20 grand or whatever. Yeah. And that's a car deposit. That's a serious car deposit. Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. And you can get yourself. That's exactly what everything is parked outside, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, um, yeah, the monthly is on a guy, like even on like an SVR or something, it's like a thousand pound a month. You put 10, 20 grand in, 
you can easily make a thousand pound a month. That's a few PS fives a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One gra million of one graphic card a month. Yeah. And they restock twice a month on average. Yeah, usually twice a month, something like that. That's crazy. That's how I bought my first car as well. I bought a blue Golf R when I was oh, 18. Yeah. Yeah. I sold like Supreme remowers, off white remowers, like just anything Supreme uses. Who had the, one then, of you guys had the, uh, I think it was you, maybe the GTS, GTS or yeah. the TG's video as well. Bought that last year. Yeah. So you, I want to get one of them. Oh, yeah, okay. that's so cool. oh, you know, God, I can't, God. Yeah. I can't decide between so that fun. and a GTR. GTR. GTR, Nissan? Yeah. Oh, bro. Get no the GTR. Yes, get a GTR. Yeah. 100%. GTS. Yeah. Yeah. Promise you. Get the GTS, bro. Promise way better. Don't. It's a real world drive, not through the winter. Yeah, he's got one shot. My car will kill you. What would you say like that compared to your R8? It's more fun than GTS, 100%. Is it? Yeah. The R8 is a bit like, it's good and that, but it's just a bit boring after it's like a few months. It's a months. perfect car, the R8. It does yeah, everything yeah. that yeah. you need it to do. I bet it just feels like a Golf R sometimes. It does. Yeah, it feels it's exactly a faster Golf R that makes a great noise. It sounds, it sounds, it sounds insane. I went to uh, Dubai last year and this was the first time that like any of us had drove a car like that. And yeah. I rented a Hurricane and I came back to these and I was like, this is a really fast Golf R. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's <laughs> exactly it is, yeah. It's, it's really it nice. It looks great and it gets birds, but. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but it's a, it, on the inside, it's just a really fast golf car. Yeah. But the that's GTS, when you, sli when you slide that about, yeah. that's a really fun car. Not that yeah. we do, but yeah. It is cool. Yeah. Yeah. On private yeah. roads. <laughs> yeah. right, so it's yeah, really man. good fun. I but love that GTS. Slightly off topic, but yeah, so yeah, back to business. I was going to say, so, you know, at the point where we are right now, where do you lot see it heading? Because to me, it seems like such a huge success. But to you guys, where do you see it? So literally in the next, very soon we're launching. Next very soon. <laughs> next very soon. <laughs> very soon we're launching an NFT group. Mm. I'm not sure if you've heard of NFTs. Um, so that'll be open soon. Basically the same thing. Buy them, so we sell like them. Buying and selling NFTs then. Yeah, so we'll just be showing people how to buy them because the money in them right now is crazy. crazy. Oh, well, is crazy. that going to come under CCN or is that going to be its own separate? So it'll be Crack so, Chief NFT. So, oh, okay. CC, so CCN is, so it's the, the, the proper brand is Crep Chief. Yeah. Um, that's like the, the mother company, I suppose. Yeah. We have Notify as like a sub brand. We'll have NFTs as a sub brand and then obviously Notify USA as well. Um, so it'll be a completely separate group, completely different. But the, like, you should, like Tom just said then, the money that you're making off NFT, there is risk with NFTs mm. and you need money to invest but the money you can make is disgusting. Mm. There was one the other day, there was 8,888 copies of an yeah. NFT, yeah. Mechaverse. Uh, it was 500 euros, uh, 500 pounds to buy and you need a little bit on top for your gas fees, um, which pushes you to the front of the queue basically to like get and an NFT. Yeah. Transaction as well. um, and that was going for $20,000 a piece. And how much was it? Five hundred pounds. It's like actually life changing money like that. But that's yeah, actually happening actually every week. Yeah, we that's know not someone just like one who, He got two of them, so he made forty, well, thirty-nine thousand dollars. Bloody hell! Have you not like, bought NFTs before and all that stuff? <laughs> <laughs> have we bought NFTs before? Is a story. It, it is we won't tell you which one, but yeah. we have bought NFTs. We because I'm guessing you would have had to just to make that decision to add it to CC. We, and we've only no, we've not only lost on NFTs. We've we've made decent money on NFTs, but our biggest loss was a bad decision, not a bad decision, we was misinformed. We were still relatively new. And um, this artist who, is a, who makes actual uh, prints and stuff mm. like that, he made his first NFT. And we was told that these was gonna go for mega, mega They money. was going for mega money. Well, they so. was, yeah. Initially, straight after release, they was. And then we, uh, there was only 15 of them. And we managed to be able to get four because um, Milo did the entries on the bot. And mm. they was like 7,000 pound a piece. To buy, yeah. To buy, and we got four of them. Yeah. And... Uh, <laughs> it was going far. <laughs> we was buzzing. <laughs> <laughs> we was... So I'll tell you how much they was going for. On the so day, they was 28 going grand far. in at this point. Yeah, yeah 28 grand up. in. And they was going for 100,000 no, pounds? No, no, we, we, was, grand, we was told that they was going to be going for 75 to 100 grand. We thought we was rich, right? <laughs> you should have seen then, us on the day. And then you should have seen us. Two days later, looking at that marketplace and none of them are selling for that price. And there is still to this day, none of them no, selling for that price. one sold for $13,000. One sold. And then one sold for two as well. I remember when it happened, I was, so. I, was, I was back in Liverpool and I was cooking and I was like seeing the charges come through. And I was like, boys. No, <laughs> I literally yeah, remember I that. Boy, yeah. I remember I was sat over there. It was crazy. <laughs> so what, did you, did you sell them or what? No, no we still, we still, got, still got them. Because yeah. they're not worth 
what we paid for them. But they will be worth like is this art, this big artist. I can't. We literally can't say who it is. But like, is this big artist first NFT? Yeah. So the, in the one day in the future, it will yeah. be worth something. Yeah. Mm. Hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully, that's the plan. That's that's what, exactly what I to tell. What, <laughs> we have <laughs> bought quite a lot of other NFTs as well that we've done well on. Mm. Um, not like to the point we've, of investing seven grand into pieces every every other week. But you but don't like, need to. That's the good yeah. thing. Exactly. There's pieces what hundred to five hundred dollars, even less than one dollar. Like, like, one dollar NFT. Yeah. We bought that one dollar one and it was flipping for like two grand. Um, we didn't sell it right away. Like we still have it. But like they've like with the one dollar ones and there's like what a few hundred of them. And they were flipping for like you know, a few hundred, a few thousand. See, I've never, I've never understood how you actually buy and sell NFTs. So maybe this would be a great way to get involved. It's just like, it. uh, so basically, it's like it, it depends what like blockchain it's on. Like, like yeah. de- depends like how you sell it. But like, so like the ones that we're on about these are all on Nifty Gateway, which is um, it's like a, it, I believe it's in a, I feel like it's on the Ethereum network, but you can pay with pounds, and um, they have like their own marketplace on there where you can buy and sell to other people. And then there's this thing called OpenSea, which is like one of the biggest marketplaces. And they, but they don't have every blockchain on there. So you can buy and sell stuff on there as well. So they have like, there's like this websites, which are like marketplaces and people can like transfer NFTs between each other and pay price. But the one, the good thing about NFTs um, is that every artist that makes the NFT, they collect royalties from it as well. Mm. So if they, so they initially uh, sell out their run of, so they do a hundred, yeah, one um, dollars, and they make a hundred dollars initially, which yeah. isn't a lot of money. And then when that goes online and it's twenty grand, they is it ten percent? Ten percent. I think, I think so. it's about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's about they get ten percent of that sale yeah. forever, forever. Just so like music long, royalties. So as long as it sold on. So let's so, just say I made an NFT, sold it to you, yeah. and then you sold it to, it to you. Yeah. I would get ten percent of, of that and then sale. I, in ten years' time, I sell it to him for like a million. You still get ten percent in ten years. So you get yourself hundred grand in ten years. <laughs> That's what's amazing about NFTs. Yeah. Well, like, right now, like, artists, they don't, it doesn't happen. It's like you sell it once and it's gone. Yeah. It could go up, whatever. You don't know, you don't know it's gone. It's gone. We, yeah. we got into yeah. NFTs because we was buying and selling art, weren't we? Well, we weren't selling it, we was buying it. Um, like we investing. massively got into it. We, we like collecting art. Um, Are you going to make an NFT cool. yourself? Uh, potentially. Yeah. potentially. Oh, you're not convinced of me too right now, so well. see your class NFT coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, but you got, you got the NFT. NFTs. What else have we got going? I mean, like you said, USA, we mentioned earlier. Yeah. So um, there is other things in the background that's not crep chief related. Yeah. Um, that's constant development. Uh, I'm not sure how. Long. No, we're yeah, no, we're we can't. We're no, it's nothing. We definitely can't talk about yeah. what, exactly what it is. Well, like other brands that you guys are yeah. to make other yeah. projects. Yeah, it's like three or four at the moment. Just mm. like yeah, yeah. Well, well, clothing is one of them as well. Which yeah, yeah clothing man, that's yeah. coming soon. There's some that are just completely not affiliated no. with. Yeah. Yeah. Also, like, complete you separate own ten- stuff you've never seen like, before. Yeah, you can imagine though, like if we live together, like, and you're only watching things for business. Yeah, and the conversations start flowing, and we go for food, and we talk about the same thing. It's just blocking those ideas. You guys are like, the definition of you know when they say people like surround yourself with like-minded mm-hmm. people. Bro. I say this to Milo yeah. all the time. You are who you hang around with, and there's yeah. no two ways about it. You are hundred percent the person. That you, of the people that you hang around with, mm. and it's a choice. It is a choice. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. That is one of my favorite sayings forever. You know, it's 100%. mad to think that you guys are all like early twenties as well. Yeah. Because when I'm speaking to you right now, it's all like you're gonna touch thirty with the knowledge. <laughs> I mean, you you all still look fairly young, but I mean, the knowledge yeah. is unreal. It's mad. It's crazy. We've got the best team in the world, man. There's no two ways about it. Mm. We argue and fight like brothers, and then at the end of the conversation, it's always. It's not fighting, it's always just like an argument about business, I suppose, more of a debate. Yeah. But it's always, always comes back to a civil conversation at the end. Yeah. And that is something that is, we respect each other at the end of the day. That's mm. something that's massive that, yeah. is a, that makes this team what it is. And we're going to make it all the way to the top. There's no two ways about it. There's no way. Milo, Milo to one bill. Milo to one bill. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> What's that, say that again? Milo to one bill. Milo to one bill. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. No, we've not. Uh, <laughs> that's just Milo, 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 Milo to one, to one bill. bill. A couple yeah. of bills each. Yeah. A couple of billion yeah. and won't we, go miss. We want to go big. And uh, one thing that we're really passionate about is, and I'm like really passionate about is, I want to like, I want to like, Crep Chief Notify, it's a bit like, it's a niche. Like I want to do something for everyone. And I want to do like, whether it's an app or something like that, but I want to, I really want to do something for everyone where like, it's like for the masses. Cause that's, and that's where the big money is. Like, and I want, I want to do something game changing. Like I want I want people to like respect it and be like, you know what I mean? He's done this. Yeah, like, but this is crazy. This is basically game changing. For the amount of people oh, that yeah, we get involved, it's game changing. Thousands of people. We like to help people pay the mortgages off. Yeah. We have a member of staff who was in bad debt and he couldn't buy his girlfriend a birthday present. 
he started reselling and it changed his life. And this, these are real testimonials that people can read in the group. They, we're literally changing people's lives and I, re I read them and it's literally like, it's mad to be far. That's the best part about it. It changed my it's life. heartwarming, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it yeah, is. It's just like when you see comments and stuff like that. I, I wouldn't even say season's a niche. Mm. Like I think it is for everyone. Yeah, we're helping yeah, people. Sure. It is still a niche though. The only niche, like the only thing that can even take to like being a niche is that like, it's actually people understanding and believing that it is real. Yeah. Because obviously like social media doesn't help with like things that happened in the past with different brands. Um, like forex that we spoke about. Mm. So like, that's the only thing that could make it a niche. But it is still for everyone. Sure. Every, everyone can do it. It's just whether everyone wants to yeah, do it. That's yeah. what Which I mean, is still what makes it a niche. Because a lot of people don't want to, I feel like a massive thing for people is they don't want to do, they don't want to work. And this is what we always say, like a massive saying that we have is like, the answer to life is just do it. Like you just got to get out there, do it, make a start, crack on. And if you don't, that's what everyone like, you know what I mean? Everyone's like pussyfooting about doing nothing, but you just got to start and get up and do it. 100%. Yeah, it's crazy. So once you make that first step, the second step's way easier, easier than the yeah. first one. No, there was always that one saying that I, that I heard from some YouTuber, I can't remember what it is, but if you start working for two minutes, you know how sometimes you might yeah, be lazy or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah, you start working for two minutes and the rest of the night you're up working like, like a madman. Yeah, man. it's that first step, like once you do that, then you're probably going to do it. Like 99% of the time, if you make that one minute mm. like, jump, then you're going to do it. Like, yeah. Even if you do one of them a day, you think, I'm going to do this whole project. You can't just do it all in one go. Yeah. You've got to do one thing at a time. Every day you put a minute in and then you put like an hour in after that. Yeah, one thing that I picked up the other week as well was, um, I think it was on a Tory Lanez vlog. I think he said, if, like, you move your fingers a little bit, you just make that one one centimetre gap. Mm. Like, if you look at where that goes eventually, yeah. just that one that's step, cool, yeah. it's just going to keep going and going and going and going. You're going to have a, an empire by the end of it, so. Yeah, that's mad. It's just like, um, last night I posted that thing on my Instagram with the growth mm -hmm. and all that stuff. It's just like that. Like, it took me eight months to get a thousand subscribers and after that shot up, mm. which is... But you just got to put in that that work, isn't it? People consistency aren't, as well. Aren't willing to do massively on consistency yeah. with YouTube. You've got to be on it every week. First steps are the hardest for people. Off. I remember when, like when CCM first grew, and I think it was like what we were nearing ten k. And I remember messaging you, and I was like, "We're so close. Like we're gonna hit ten k." Followers. Then, like, yeah, followers. And then that was so long ago, and then it just booms off. Like the bigger you get, the easier it is to grow. Obviously, one hundred percent. It's growing. It's a more respected That's page, isn't it? Like if you've got thirty k followers over two. 2,000 followers, people are way more likely to. Mm. It's trust in it. Yeah. Those, those numbers on the screen literally give someone trust in you. So if you, if this was the exact same video with the 1,000 followers that you did have, people are obviously going to have more trust than 30,000 followers that you do have. Yeah. Let me, let me um, get a statement from you guys, yeah? So for people, I'll, I'm going to be very honest with you, I haven't done uh, Crap Chief myself before, yeah, but I'm definitely going to do it after this podcast. But for people who are in my position have heard about it many times, may, maybe over the years, but still haven't, you know, gone out and the initial money, put it in, actually joined, well, how could you convince them? Not even convince them, but tell them that it's actually a thing. I'll actually help you out right there. If you want to use the code CEO and start today, I'll do it for £15 for your first month. £15 is the same price as... A what? McDonald's. Yeah. A McDonald's. Too. A Domino's tonight. Don't buy a Domino's tonight. I know tonight. it is. It's, it's yeah. a kind Invest of coke in every yourself. day. I remember when we used to work in Coffin Wales, we yeah. used to sell the insurance. And that was like, we, it was 15 quid a month. We had to blag to everyone that is, you know. 50p a day. Basically 50p yeah. a day, yeah. coffee every day, which is nothing when you think about it. Mm. And if you're making, with Crep Chief, you're making, I don't know, God knows, it's unlimited. It's all Yeah, it's unlimited. It's make, what you it? put in, you'll get out. Yeah. And you can cancel anytime. Yeah. So you might join 50 pounds. Cancel two days. You might, it's not for me. I've not got the time yeah. to do this, but just give it a try. And I promise you, if you put the effort in, you'll get something out of it. And the worst you, is that you've lost fifteen pound. Yeah. <laughs> not fifty p a day. Only thing there's a product in CCN which doesn't flip for more than fifteen pounds. No, we yeah. don't push anything out of this. There are genuinely hundreds and hundreds a month. Mm. So like, <laughs> yeah, there's probably there's probably hundreds of products in ro rotation at all times. Yeah. Being able to buy and stuff like that. Oh yeah, I need to get my GTS. So I'm gonna be on it. But I'll tell you what I'm gonna do as well because um, you know I've I've got editing to do. I've got a normal working life. But what I'm gonna do just to prove to people, I think I'm gonna try a crap chief for 30 days, film it, record it, and share the results at the end. Mm -hmm. Wherever yeah. wherever the results, I'm not gonna show you guys a video before. I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that's the best, fairest way to do it as well. We start it 30 reality. days and welcome down on our channel. Yeah. And we'll talk for it. It should be a good one. There you go. Great. What is like your lot's goal for the YouTube channel? Is it to create awareness for it or? Oh, to be honest, we're just, yeah, we're just doing it for yeah. fun, to yeah. be honest, yeah. We, we, I actually, 
actively enjoy doing it. Yeah. So. The initial idea came from just doing it uh, for us, like our, even if we just filmed it and never put it out, mm. just because we wanted to just remember these things as well. Mm. Um, but the initial like we idea- we said when we got the videographer in, we was like, even if we don't make anything with all this content, we've got this entire year, well, however many years yeah. documented. Yeah, yeah. It's funny to look back on it. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. And see the see growth as well. It, yeah. yeah, even if nothing goes out, it was literally just there for us. It was like an archive of footage. It wasn't even supposed to be about Crep Chief our Crep Chief Notifier at the time. It was just purely we was going to make out, like, we've done, well, there's a video that we've made that we've never put out, and it's us collecting our uh, Reliant Robin. It's so our Reliant Robin, you know, three wheel cars. We'll show you in a minute. If you don't know that, He's joking, you've never seen it. You've never seen three wheel cars. No, it's like a three wheeler. It's, it's got like one wheel at the front. One of my top gear sent it to the moon. Not the moon, yeah? but they sent it to the, the, the rocket. Jeremy Clarkson like rolls Mate. it over in that time. <laughs> so of the car. Yeah, no, I ain't seen it, no. no we, um, mad. we went and picked that up and because it's a, like a joke of a car, we thought, fuck it, we'll film it, we'll have a good laugh with it. Yeah. Um, so we did that and then we started, one day we started making video content. Um, I think that was when the Travis Scott fragments that you can see in the background, we initially uh, made a video of that. And then we was, we was comfortable being on camera at that point. Yeah. And then it just became like, you just put a camera in front of the face and yeah. it was just, I'll, I'll just talk to the camera. Like it's not yeah. really an issue. Yeah, because I, th I think I remember when I asked you maybe a year ago, I think I asked you for a podcast and I'm pretty sure you said none of you show your face. Yeah. 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 And yeah. even yeah. on Instagram, yeah. your face yeah. is yeah. a blurred. <laughs> Yeah, literally. <laughs> so it's like, it we, we, that was the initial idea with the brand. We didn't want to be out there at all. Mm. We just wanted, we wanted it to be a company and not us. Yeah. Um, but like at the moment, we, we feel like we want to be, we want, the Crep Chief is us. Like it's, obviously we didn't name the brand, we didn't start the thing, but we've built this. Yeah. So, and we've put our passion into it. And the people in the group, we love conversating with them. We've got a good little community with them. So it was like, why not? Why not push it as uh, us? us as well as it being its own company as well yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like us and then this is the brand that we are behind it so that's like it's like it's like a daily vlog of ceo like yeah. it's just us that's exactly brand. what i'm starting to do as well like a vlog channel because it's yeah you guys are the brand but you're the faces of the i don't know how to explain you're the faces of the brand yeah as i'm um, the face of ceo costs yeah mm -hmm. some people might have an interest in what i do like the, when, like the vlog of yeah. like, let's just say you know showing off where we are and all that stuff. Some people are interested in that sort of yeah. thing. Just, they only get to see you for like one hour a week. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. They want to see more. Yeah. It's literally not the only thing. I'm sure there's hours of work that goes into this behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah, it is a lot. It is a lot people sometimes. like snooping around behind the scenes. Yeah. <laughs> people love that content. How many members of, on CCN have you got now? Uh, about five and a half thousand active paying um, members, yeah. So what do you mean when you say active pay members? So there is, there is people in the group that are like friends and family and stuff like that that um, oh, okay. obviously just don't pay. Yeah, fair um, enough. But we're, there is about five, five and a half thousand members at the moment. And if you said, um, let's just say the people who cancelled back then and you know they didn't cancel, if you had to add it all up, how much would it have been? How many members have you acquired over the years? Oh, over 30,000. Yeah, yeah, probably 25, 30,000. Yeah, that's mad. That's that life changing. You have definitely done a life changing yeah. thing. Expand out to yeah. USA. The thing is with this, you can go global at any point as well. Yeah, let's say this yeah, reselling any happens country, all yeah. over the world. Yeah. Like, it's just basic business. Like any store is basically reselling. Like. And that's yeah. what's good about the NFT section as well, because it's not like physical products. It's all online. So you, all you need is a computer or a phone and you can be a part of it. Yeah. Location don't mean nothing yeah. with NFTs. You yeah. can be join that and be from anywhere in the world. Yeah, it's still have the same opportunities as someone else in France. Mm -hmm. right. And it doesn't change no matter where you are or anything like that. So that's like personally why I'm really global excited price, for it. Isn't it. Like it's going to be like a global platform this time around instead of like a location based one. Mm. Yeah. The information doesn't change. The product yeah, doesn't change. Position, but it's price. Price doesn't yeah. change. <laughs> like, the person that's going to buy it off you doesn't change. It's literally the same. I don't yeah. think yeah. That's the benefit of the NFTs yeah. for sure. It's been great. You know, enjoyed it? Yeah, yeah it's been great. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. I enjoyed, I enjoyed that. that. Yeah, big time. Right, now who wants to win a PS5? <laughs> <laughs> Mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so do I. I think I'm going to buy one for myself as well. But if you've made it this far, then congratulations because we now have a giveaway for you. I've just hit over 30,000 subscribers and, you know, I've been waiting for this episode for a long time if you, you know, you would have heard throughout the podcast. Um, so, what are the rules? What are the rules? Uh, you've got to follow Crep Chief Notify. Yep. Subscribe. On Instagram. On Instagram. Yep. Subscribe to Crep Chief Notify, Crep Chief uh, YouTube YouTube. channel. Yep. And follow us all on socials. Yep. Um, which and CEO cast, yes. which will be in the description below. Yep. Yep. Down there. Okay, that's <laughs> it.
Cool. That's yeah, you it. want to follow follow all you guys as well? Or? Yeah, so yeah, so yeah. You got follow our profiles. I'll tell you what, to, to make it to make it much easier. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a post on Instagram, which I'll put right here right now. What I, what I want you guys to do is just look at all the rules there. Everything's going to be there. Follow everyone who's tagged in that post, and then come back here on this. Press the like button. Comment saying done, and that's it. Boom. Well, yeah. Sorry. You're in the money then. No, you win a PS5. <laughs> so you're in the money. Oh, yeah, then you'll be, be in the money. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So to them, then. Resell your PlayStation 5 yeah. and you you can join CCN and learn how to do even more of it. Yeah. And what was the code you said earlier on for CEO cast members? Just use the code CEO. Yep. So if you want to give CCN a try, make sure you use code CEO. The link is in the description, so make sure you use that. Get yourself in the pot and, you know, you could be winning. 50% off. 50% off, yeah. Cool. There you go. Sweet. Mazza. Guys, I want to thank, thank you for, for coming down, bro. Up. Thank, thank you, you for having us, man. Appreciate Massively that. appreciate it. Oh, that, was a, that was a sick episode. Was a definitely. When we, when we yeah. get our podcast, we'll definitely get you on. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and then, we're, then you'll be answering the questions. <laughs> yeah, you know, I've always thought about the situation. I think the it's opposite, on the opposite chair. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how people do it. <laughs> well, yeah, no, I appreciate you guys coming on. Perfect, Thanks, yeah, bro. Thank you very much for having us. No thank you. I'm so grateful. I'm so proud of you. 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 Yeah. Challenge me. Subscribe. Do everything you need to do, yeah?